morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, see, actually, uh, every teacher is having different login, so it will take some time uh, while logging in the system. Yes, so please excuse us for that. It's okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, there is no need of my introduction. Uh, is it so? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, after long time is after some years again I am switching uh, in the first year means continuously I was the teacher of second year but this year I am taking one course of first year uh, that is another part that is uh, that I am science teacher that is another part but what are compulsory papers are there in the first year I am going to deal with one paper that is course 103 learning and teaching yes i think now you all are having brief idea about what is there in the first year yes i'm expecting interaction from you side please guys yes, yes. ma'am can anyone try to tell me the just outline of the what is there in the first year means what you are going to study in the first year Yes. Ma'am, your voice is breaking, so can't hear properly. Hello. Learning and teaching. Up? Yes, that is that is about the course 103, name of the course that is learning and teaching. I'm asking you about the outline, outline of first year B8. Yes, ma'am. It is uh, about child psychology, mm -hmm. some assessment techniques. Okay. Learning and teaching. Uh, Process of learning. Teach them properly. Okay. Some computer based techniques which we can uh, use for teaching. Okay. Now, just tell me, I'm just going to ask you uh, small questions one by one. How many courses are there in the first year of B8? It uh, starts from 101 to 107, ma'am. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. So the seven courses means course 101 to 107. These are the seven. Yes. These are the theory courses. courses. Yes, these are the theory courses. And from course 108 to 112, these are the practical courses we can say. Right. Again, we can divide this 101 to 107 again into two parts. 101 to 105 and 106 to 107. So can anyone try to tell me about this? Common subjects and... Uh, are compulsory subjects. Common for Yes, yes. Very true, very true. 101 to 105, these are the compulsory subjects. Means these subjects are compulsory for every student, for everyone. Right? Again, 106 and 107, these are the methods. Means after, yes, means after completion of your B.A. degree, you are going to teach these subjects. Means you will be the particular subject teacher. For example, suppose your methods are science and maths. So after completion of your degree, you will be the science teacher or the maths teacher. Okay, so this 106 and 107, these are nothing but your methods which decide that which subject you are going to teach after completion of this professional degree. Clear? One more thing. Uh, yes, again, I have some questions. Uh, I got some questions. Yes? Yes, please. Oh, Ma'am, what is the difference between method one and method two? See, method one and method two means what? Actually, uh, some universities, they are giving only two methods. And other universities, means some other universities, they are providing three methods. See, 
For example, we'll give my example only. Uh, I'm BSc Zoology. Yes. So here, my ba my background is science. It is not mathematics because my specialization is in Zoology. So here, my first method. See, my first method is science, but I have also studied mathematics subject in the first or in the second year of my BSc. So that can be my second method. Suppose I have studied English subject in my first year or second year or sometimes some uh, it, see it, de it depends as per the university because some university they are simultaneously they are giving uh, two subjects uh, in the third year of BSc. Okay, it depends on that. So accordingly we are going to consider your method one, method two. I uh, will give one more example. For example, some students they are having computer science background. So here see there is no any subject which is the which, which is the compulsory subject at the school level. Yes, even ICT, they are the supplementary subjects or they are the elective subjects for the students. So here, yes. Yes, ma'am, I'm having one doubt in that. Yes. Sorry, uh, interpretation. Uh, yes. I think, uh, if someone is completed uh, up to 12th from uh, science background. Okay. okay. Hmm. After that, graduation is in arts. Hmm. So then what can be the methods? Your methods are always based on your graduation subjects. In which stream you have completed your graduation? It, 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 see, you 11, 12, it does not affect on your selection of your methods. Okay, okay. But actually, okay. one more problem is there as I have completed my diploma in pharmacy also. Diploma, that is your additional degree. See, basic qualification which is required for, for pursuing this BA degree, that is graduation. Okay, and on the basis of graduation, for just I gave you just like uh, given you example that computer science. So there is no subject that is computer that is not compulsory subject at school level. So for those students, the mathematics will be first method, and they are having English. So English that can be second method. Or suppose they are having suppose some students they are they are from uh, chemical uh, what can I say the chemical sciences. Or the mechanical engineering. So they are having chemistry or the physics subjects in the first or second year. So such students, they can take science as the second method, maths as the first method. It depends on what are subjects you have studied at your graduation level. That's it. So it, uh, in my study, I have completed half, uh, you can say half degree in science and uh, one basic degree is from arts. No, 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 no. Ha, ha. You, you did your BA? Yes, it's completed BA. And yes. So, no, no. So, so don't say that you have completed your half degree in science and half degree in arts. If your graduation is BA, means you have completed your in, entire graduation from arts only. Don't consider your science. Okay. Okay. We, have, we can't consider that additional degrees or diplomas. Yes. That is your additional qualification. Because... Okay. Uh, choosing method now what I want to uh, ask you that I cannot take any subject from science or math like that. Yes, definitely. Okay, See, even 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 college, even college will give you uh, decided to give you such kind of methods like science and maths. But in future, you will face the problem mm -hmm. because your basic qualification, it, it is from arts. Yeah. If you are art graduate, then how you how you can take science? Science, I can take not a math because I don't have any background in math, but science and any language subject I can take. No, science you can't take. How can you take science? You can't. I have completed my diploma in pharmacy. That's no, why no, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't no. matter. Additional yes. qualification doesn't matter. Uh, no. it depend upon yes, it. only grad graduation. Yes, graduation. Okay. For whole uh, two years, I have to take these methods only. That yes. for geography and English. Your good name? Uh, Pali Val Sapna. Sapna, uh, we can talk on this matter later. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> so learning and teaching. So can anyone try to tell me what is learning? 
I'm just going to uh, open. Are you opening a new knowledge? Yes. Which we are learning day by day. Learning. Okay, which we are learning day by day means we are learning continuously. Uh, screen is visible to everyone. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Please. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes. I'm just going to scroll it. Yes. I go ahead a new knowledge. Okay, learning day by day, acquiring new knowledge. Okay, yes. any other? I want some new faces. And, yes. And ma'am, understanding concepts. Okay, understanding concepts. Okay, anything else? And ma'am, uh, and ma'am, new skills. We learn new skills while running learning. Okay, learning of new skills. Skills, yes. But I'm expecting the definition of learning uh, or the meaning of the learning. What is learning? Learning means what? Learning is a simultaneous process. Where we continuously acquire. Yes, learning is a process which occurs Hello, simultaneously. We are learning continuously. Yes, yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, learning means to enhance knowledge. Very nice. Learning means to enhance knowledge. Anything else? Please try to give your inputs. Uh, I think see? our knowledge. Can knowledge uh, that knowledge? get you from yes knowledge that yes please continue your sentence knowledge knowledge that you get from studying okay very nice knowledge that we get from studying okay you get so, from studying we can say we we get from studying because we are the lifelong learners we are continuously studying right Learning it is a continuous process. We are learning throughout our life. Learning is the process. Learning, learning is a modification. Okay, now now I'm going to make one statement and just try to give one example. According to me, or not according to me, it is generalized definition of the learning. Change in behavior is called as learning. Let me repeat it. Change in behavior is called as learning. So, can you try to give me some examples regarding this? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Ma uh, yes, you are audible. Well. Suppose uh, if we are learning some good habits which we can incalculate in our day to day life. Like uh, you need to, when you go outside, you need to follow some protocols. So that things which you, if you even if you read or you learn yes. through those things, we can uh, implement in our day-to-day -day life. So this can change our behavior when we go out. Very nice example. Very nice. You good name? My name is uh, Prachi Kate, ma'am. Yes, Prachi. Very nice example. Okay. Now one more question is for you. You are very, yeah, very correct. This is learning. Means there is a change in behavior. We are accepting some Mami, social ethics. How, to, how to behave in the society. Okay. So from where we are get, we are learning these things? Or how we are learning these things? Uh, Ma'am, through Before. like social media. Some uh, TV or some like uh, whatever messages they come on. Drum, what, drum, uh, drum, 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 drum. Uh, I'm getting a uh, background. Uh, dear, dear students, I'm getting distraction from your side. Please, if you want to communicate, if you want to give interactions, then and then only please unmute yourself. Otherwise, please mute yourself. Okay, please continue. Prachi. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, by sometimes, about, you're telling about the uh, social things, right? Yes. Yeah, so like nowadays, so it is like very fast and forward, uh, like television, internet, even WhatsApp. We get messages and we try to uh, inculcate in our day-to-day -day life because like now suppose this COVID situation only. People are saying that you wear mask, you sanitize your hand, what not the things excuse they are saying. Me, excuse follow. me, excuse me. Yeah. So once we get uh, to know, we do apply in our day-to-day -day life and we get aware. We try to avoid that uh, like uh, 
whatever infections and all through this things only and once we go through it we try to whenever you go out we you we follow such things in short i mean hello 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 audible hello yeah ma'am hello yes yeah, i just want i just want to ask you that see we learn yeah, right we learn so how we learn mm -hmm. can anyone tell me the process of learning just now she gave example we learn uh, because of social media we learn something means what we are doing we are observing okay. we are watching we are experiencing what we are doing exactly observing we are observing we are observe yes we are observing suppose prachi she touches burning candle okay after that does anyone dare to touch that candle no no why no why why we supposed to experience no yeah because see because we learn there is not necessity that always we, we everything we should learn through experiences we always most of the thing we learn through observations suppose prachi yes, after please. touching the burner she is she is getting harm oh. so so anyone will not dare to touch that candle so this this is this is nothing but the this is not experiential learning of course for prachi this is experiential learning but for others this is observational learning okay and what happen so we are not going to touch burning candle so this is this is what this is change in behavior so this is nothing but the learning now i am going to the switch or objectives of the course so you'll get idea what we are going to study exactly uh, during this academic year see this psychology it is very very interesting it is very what you can say very uh, i cannot i am not getting exact word for this yes see in your course fyb8 there are two subjects which are related to psychology this is course 101 childhood and growing up and one more that is learning and teaching yes see so these are the objectives total 10 10 objectives are there i'm just uh, can anyone try to read yes on behalf of me yes ma'am sure yes ma'am uh 10 objectives are there first one is understand the concept of learning the main Second thing is, is just as this way the main thing is to enable the student teachers to now you can continue yes ma'am comprehend the theories of learning third yes. one is appreciate the idea of learning as construction of knowledge hmm. fourth one is realize the connection between learning in school and learning outside the school Fifth one is recognize the relationship between teaching and learning. Sixth one is analyze the complex process of teaching. Seventh is acquaint themselves with different approaches of teaching that support the learning. Eighth one is value the relevance of reflection in the teaching learning process. Ninth one is realize the significance of the context in which the teaching learning process occurs. and tenth one is acknowledge that teaching is a profession okay thank you see thank these you. are the ten objective means after learning this particular course that is 103 you will able to know able to achieve all these objective means we will able to understand the concept of learning what is learning if we see there are different types of learning see these are the types of learning simultaneously i am going to explain the syllabus also very briefly see these are the types of learning so formal informal and non formal so these are the basic types of learning can anyone uh, tell me about the uh, what is basic informal and non formal yes sorry ma'am ma you were not audible ma'am yeah, yes. your voice is breaking your voice is breaking yes see the first objective is to understand the concept of learning so learning so basic concept of learning but if we see there are basically three types of learning 
formal learning, informal learning, and non-formal learning. So can anyone will try to differentiate between these three? Formal means formal learning is the learning where we learn in school, college, whatever the teacher taught us. And informal learning is like uh, watching videos, self studies, uh, reading books, like this. Okay. With the help about of you know, practical, the informal learning. What about non-formal learning? Yes. Means learning takes place in the schools, colleges, even the higher institutions, higher education institutions. Informal learning is we are learning in the society, we are learning in the family. We are learning when when yes. we are in the with the friends. That is informal learning. What about non-formal learning? And it is basically for whom? Non-formal means there is no such a institutes or not having, I guess, perfect syllabus or like that. Opposite to formal. Other than educational, like uh, sports, uh, other activities. Okay. Give you one example. We can learn through. Okay, now yes, we we can learn through. Yes, please complete your sentence. We can learn through. Okay, we'll give one example. Uh, I think some of us she has said that there is no institution. Have you heard about IGNU? Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes have you heard about? Yes. Have you heard about YCMOU? No. Yes. 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 Yes
Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. See, knowledge, always see, there is a difference between knowledge. If you see information, it is the information, but knowledge, it is a it is a part of that information. Means after extracting information, we are getting small part that is nothing but the knowledge. For example, suppose uh, I think we have started our lecture 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes back, right? So from that time, continuously I'm doing blah, blah, blah on the learning. So that can be information. See, that can be information. But if I'm going to tell you that change in the behavior is called as change in the behavior of an individual is called as learning. So this is what this is the definition and we can generalize this, this definition. So this definition, it is nothing but the knowledge. So it is it is not only that knowledge is, is only in the form of definition. Knowledge is is in the form of principles. Knowledge, it is in the form of concept. It is in the form of theories, etc. It is in the form of laws also. OK, so there are certain traditional theories based on the learnings. So this is, you can see here name of different theories. So you can say the scientist Thorndike, Pavlov, Skinner, Kohler. Basically, uh, main these four theories are included in your syllabus. Yes, so these are the theories of learning that tells us about the process of learning. So accordingly, we can implement these theories in our day to day life teaching learning process. The next is one more theory that is actually the spelling mistake is there. Pivio, Alan Pivio, that is dual coding theory. And again, implication of this particular theory. Apart from this, nowadays, not nowadays, I think uh, the decade back, one more approach is used in the teaching learning process that is constructivism approach. Have you heard about this? Yes. Yes, students. Yes, Constru constructivism, what it is? Constructivism approach means what? No idea, ma'am. No idea. Those who know, please, uh, please give answers. What do you know about constructivism? Hi, OK, uh, let's forget about constructivism. Just tell me, have you heard about the inductive and deductive methods? Maybe it's input and output kind of thing. No, inductive deductive methods. No, no. Okay, let's switch on the. Uh, okay, now I'm going to uh, teach you the properties of rectangle. Okay, let's forget about the psychology and switch on the mathematics. Properties of a rectangle. Okay, can anyone tell me what are the properties of rectangle? Yes, ma'am. Yes. It has four sides, four quadrants. Okay, four sides. Opposite sides are two same. Sides are uh, same. Okay, opposite sides are same. Okay. So instead of just see what what teacher is doing in the class. Teacher is just teaching. So these are the properties. So today we are going to learn the properties of rectangle and draw this rectangle. And these are the properties of rectangle. Just just uh, she, she's going to narrate all the properties and the students are supposed to write the properties in their notebooks or copy in their notebooks. That's it. So instead of that, while teaching properties of rectangle, if the teacher, if she uh, she gives different cutouts of the rectangle to the students. OK, and she asked them you have to measure. You have to measure all the sides of the rectangle. Please listen carefully. Just they have to measure all the sides of the rectangle. Now ask them to find what you find, what you found common in these. OK, so finally student will give the answer that opposite sides are equal in length. There is no need for the teacher to tell the student about these are the properties of rectangle. So here who is going to create the knowledge here? The students, they are going to create the knowledge by their own. So here construction of the knowledge by the students. Clear? 
Yes. 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 Even about the perimeter, the perimeter of the rectangle. Again, you can use the same technique. Ask the student to measure length of each. Yes. And after that, they will get the perimeter. So in this way, here the knowledge creation is is uh, is done by who? Is by the students. So this is the basic uh, what you can say the basic principle behind the constructivist approach. Yes. Um, in short, uh, it means constructive means by uh, through students' observation, they themselves they can make out uh, the property. Yes. See, not only the observation. Sometimes, we, see what they they are measuring means what they are they are, ex, they are getting experience of this. Yeah. They are directly involved in the in the learning. This is the st student centric approach of uh, what you can say the teaching learning process. We can say okay. yes. Apart from this, there is one more theory that is brain based learning is there this is also very interesting. Then unit number three, it is related to the concept of teaching. See, there are different. Uh, see, uh, now you can see the different uh, diversity in the classroom and to fulfill needs of the diversity or we can see the individual differences we have we supposed to use means as a teacher we supposed to use different methods of teaching so here they have enlisted some methods lecture seminars pair group group work project work even the flip classroom this is uh, this is one more uh, we can say the newly introduced method of teaching even the technology based teaching one more concept is new for you that is andragogy basically this is related to the adult learning means the process of practice of adult learning that is nothing but the andragogy pedagogy it is nothing but the simple city science of teaching means how teaching should be what are the parameters and how teachers should use all, all the parameters while teaching in the classroom then the functions of teaching micro teaching and teaching skill of 21st century the next is diagnostic testing and remedial teaching and the last is need and importance of annual plan unit plan uh, i think because sir uh, he is he is having third lecture today uh, so uh, should we stop here we can continue this discussion in the in the uh, in the next lecture yeah, yes so yes, you can uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. ma'am okay thank you so much see you in the next lecture take care bye bye thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am ma bye